This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. We'll see what happens with this, because we know he's a monster, that's for sure. No doubt about that. The ace. Inside the West, speak of the devil. Oh, good move. They and got it! Man. Right on two. Yes, indeed. The ace getting on the feed. Kyrie Stanton has come on strong for the Panthers, being inserted in the starting lineup recently. I think his defense is huge today. Lewis again. Send it back to Ra. Lewis from deep. Bang! Knock down straight ball. And that doesn't come to game. He has been developing. He gambled with the steal right here. Didn't now work out. Julian Reese with the two. Here comes one of the youngins here. Bryce Lindsay. Lindsay is definitely a sharp shooter for sure. The ace against right the man that's growing in stature, Brandon Murray. The most foul is called. Two shots coming for the senior Akeem Ali. 
Ali is another one that I love. Also, just like Brandon Murray, has not been in the office. We feel as though he should have been receiving, but his D1 office had picked up in the last couple of weeks, including Georgia State, Siena, and a couple other D1 schools. Hey, East Tennessee State trying to get him in. Yeah, here we go. Him and Brandon, what a great point that would be. Great guy. Julian Reese gonna be in this game for uh, St. Francis. Oh, they're gonna need him. The size is definitely gonna be a factor and the skill set. Now, does he have the tenacity to actually come out and play in this matchup is what we're waiting to see. Ah, the mess. Reese actually snatched it away from his teammate. Come on, West. Oh, stolen away. to that girl's match if we think they can. Look out. Stanton. Coast to coast, he's shooting up it. Like I said, this ride we had two years ago at uh, Boston College where they turned everybody away because it was just so full. St. Francis took care of business and last year folks came at Towson University. Holly was able to get the job done. Just a rubber match. Yes, Holly was able to get it done down the stretch. Great shooting of Ian Wallace with a clutch three in that game. Just put him away. You know what's funny there, Commence? No one talks about Ian like that, but what an ingredient he is in his team. Oh, I love him. Ian is a definitely blue guy. He may not be a star, but he gets the job done whenever you need him to. If there's nothing that's called, he usually comes through. Lewis. To Murray. The ace look like he's taking on the challenge for Brandon Murray today. And that's no surprise. You know, ace always with the challenge with the best guy, whoever it is, no matter the size. Oh, blocked away by Reese. And here comes West. He's got to slow it down a little bit. Got it back. And side blocked away. And then the ball back to Evans. And it going back to Pally. That's the thing. You know, it's a little bit hyper. Need to calm down a little bit. Give it up to the guard. Love the aggressive though, just gotta bring it back. Ali, Bates, back to Murray. And so, oh, and a reach out. You see the talk, you already see him. This is what he does. Like I said, he wants the best matchup. He does not care. Ace is the definition of a true dog. He doesn't care about style. He's here to lock up whoever you bring to him. I love so many angles in the game. That's why it's a blockbuster. You know, you see so many people here. Probably the biggest part of the most high school game. That's the kill, you say? Yeah, I would agree. But it's not about one guy today. It's about a team effort on both sides. It definitely is. But speaking of the one guy, one guy in the law right now is Brandon Murray, who, as we talked about before this game, has not been great. Like, he hasn't been getting the offers either, but he has been racking them in the last couple of weeks. Everybody seems to be on him now from UNC Greensboro to, oh, wait. Stanton is going inside. What a save by Murray. And then back comes Lindsey. Crop the three. Alright, they'll wait now. Ball's life. 
right behind St. Francis. Just two highly ranked teams. The Panthers have played a national scout this year. That one tipped and missed. We'll talk about what's going on in February coming up. That's a blockbuster. Two more and off that's a foul. Morgan State basketball, no offense to them, can get a trial like this right now. Oh, Morgan State's back. Oh, good block. Oh, good block indeed. Oh, yeah, Morgan State. Again, the hustle. There by Murray. The game is going to prevail because both teams like to get up and down. Oh, yeah, we'll see as the game picks up that you're going to have to lock down on defense and get stops to win this one. Drives oh, to the hoop. Blocked from behind by yeah, the Another block. Uh oh, Ty. The ace. The bet. The easy bucket. <laughs> and Coach Nicholas Miles have went to his bench yet. He just did with Elijah Davis being in the game now. Transfer from Demacra. Lewis against Reese. Pull up. Good defense right there, about me. Support Davis. Now, 
Baldwin has been dealing with a hand injury the past couple weeks. He's actually sat out some games. Which the Panthers had no problem with against John Kale, against Glendon Country. And again, as you see the hand giving Ace a problem again. I don't know what's going on right now. He was in the middle of shooting free throws. Lamar in the game, the freshman. His brother, a junior here against Polly. I talked to his dad earlier, Sean, and I said, I don't know whose side you're on today, but <laughs> on that one. This is one of those games, you gotta wear a split jersey for that one. ain't lying. He's down there taking the film. Back over. Shot clock running down. Lewis doubled the size. Lindsay doubled. Oh, yeah. I know, sir. Yeah, but I'm Defense of St. Francis really beat him in. And Stanton comes back in. Good defensive battle right here early on. Good transition game. You got everything, offense and defense, as expected. Can you believe you're saying in the St. Francis game that St. Francis wants to slow the game now? No, no, I definitely believe that. <laughs> They can talk about it if they want to, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Ireland brings it up. Double there. The mob, the three point specialist. Back to Reese. Oh. Reese is not just like me in the pay for it. Engineers, not put the ball on the floor much as of yet. That's one of the parts of this game he has to develop. Yes, he is. He's over there. Oh, brother against brother. <laughs> Smashing up. So many, 
so many storylines in this game, man. I mean, nice itself. Speaking of the older brother, he had it. Lindsay brings it back. Off the Wallace for three. On that mess. Here comes Stanton. He can do this a lot. Somehow is allowed to come back. So that goes to St. Francis' favor. Take him, This kid is something special. We're talking about it off the camera. So on that, he's going to be something special. Yeah. Oh, he definitely will. I mean, he's got so many offers already coming in from major D1 schools. He's already wearing the orange and blue. And of course, the Auburn fans love that because he's one of the offers. Virginia Tech, so many offers already. We are tied at 17 here in the Empire House. Look in the eighth. Offense! Oh, they said a, a legal screen? Yeah, they're going to say he moved on that one. He's not on his ground. Engineers, basketball. Evans inbounds for Polly. Back to Ross. Seen Ross since his freshman year starting here at Polly. He's been in some big games over the years. Oh, definitely. And Ross is the true definition of a floor general. I love his game as a true point guard. A true oh, what a guess! Oh, it's funny. They got the strap. Davis. Stanton. Got the corner. Oh, oh, oh. Take right there by Stanton. Good run. Good run by Davis. 19 17 lead. Oh, 20 here left. In the first one. Green. Ali. Shooting too. A little rush is really action right there to draw the foul. It worked for him. Is that my second foul? Leave it in. Yes, it is. Got a, got a decision to make it to St. Francis. Keep him in or get him out of there. Keep him in. It's the second quarter. Go ahead and keep him in right now. Now, if he picks up that third, you will have a problem. Now, they're taking him out. Yeah. I'm surprised. But you got a big kid in Reese that can come in. You definitely do. The luxuries of both sides. Unbelievable size, both ways. Got it. Press, 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 press. We're tied at 19. 5 10 left. Stanton. So sorry, don't, Stanton don't do nothing that's foolish on the offensive end. He does not. He usually makes wild decisions. Davis. Good. That's going back to Polly. Had a good look at it, just didn't drop. 
Big event we will see here in this area, February the 8th. I had word this morning that McDonough has dropped out of the uh, uh, East Coast Bump. They're replacing them. I can't name it yet, but that will come out in, uh, hopefully in the next several days. Oh, oh, oh missed it. No foul call, keep playing. Gotta keep playing the turnover. Oh, definitely surprising here to McDonough. The two matches we know, Oak Hill and St. Louis. Oak Hill's been rolling since November. Second ranked team in the country in the years being fold. And their best score didn't get in the McDonald's All American. They're, they're ticked off. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you be? You would expect him to get in, but I mean, they already had another what? Was it, was it one other guy that's it? Or two guys that actually made the All American game? I think from none of them did. Like Oak Hill? Didn't Oak Hill anybody. got shut out. I would definitely be surprised. I definitely thought they had at least one. Think they didn't get anybody in? Oh! Now it's a match with Jamal Bush has had on the other end of the first quarter for St. Francis. Of course, IMG against Polly. What a showdown. That's going to be in the round. Leave the skill. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Murray trying to throw the house down. Murray wanted the flush on that one. Just couldn't get it. Ball on the deck. Come out by St. Francis. Nicholas Powell up. 358 left in the first half. We're gonna... During the commercial break, we had a little bit of chirping back and forth between both the benches as far as the coaches. Like I said, when it's heated rivalry, it goes beyond the players. The coaches get involved, everybody gets involved, so you love to see it. But we'll see what happens moving forward. Like, will that come back to hurt Coach Sam? He already has a reputation as being a quote unquote hot head coach. He's just passionate. But we'll see how the referees feel about it today. Shot clock down to five. They got to do something. The ace. Deep three. Great defense and effort right there by Pauly for the shot clock violation. Chest match so far. Right at the, the midway point. Pauly clinging to a two point lead. Murray, put three. Yes, sir! Ball defender didn't go for it. Knock down, pull up. Hand down, man down. That's Mark Jackson. What's up? No question. Told me last week they was up in Chester. Oh, look out. Back over Reese. And Evans grabbed it and threw it away from him. The freshman. Lewis. Oh, to Murray. That's two points. Well, yeah, they might have you. That's a quick 5-0 run for Pauly. Well, a quick 5-0 run by Brandon Murray himself for Pauly. Off the screen is Ireland. Got to get himself going here. Trapped in the corner. Gave it up to Stanton. Stanton almost lost it. Got to pass it or shoot it. Got it in there. Showcase of matchups here at Morgan today. All these versus same players, you gotta love it. The city definitely does. You can tell from the turnout. Murray was trying to make it an eight over. Stanton, this is where he's dangerous. Oh, he great oh, outlet pass here by Adrian Morgan. It's almost like a football touchdown. They've overwhelmed teams with that all year. UMBC, February the 8th, by Polly. We'll be back with the finish of the first half. Back to game action here, Ali with it. Tremendous how you like the way uh, Polly has poised themselves in the second. I'm definitely loving it so far. Like they've been playing poised, under control, and that should continue. Once again, we have coaches like Sam Brand and Andrew Fitz. Oh, Anthony Fitzgerald is another coach as well, but Murray missing the three, another outlet. Oh, pass boy, Stanton. But it, it was too far for him that time to get it. Hey! Oh, baby, look out. Lewis could not control that one. Oh. Ah, behind the back, Allen. 
Nice defense back by Polly. They're not making it easy. Evans against Howland. Two seconds left here in the first half. Travel. but he'll be okay again. St. Francis will need him for this game. So as long as he keeps his head in the game, he'll be fine. Let's go, Frank. <laughs> See a little trash talk, y'all. We don't have the camera down there, but Justin Lewis has uh, Julian Reese on him. He's calling him a baby, calling for the ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three. Run and miss. Justin was in the position too. He, he had to back off. They missed him. They missed him. Foul in here. Seconds left. St. Francis can tie with a three. Foul in. Pick City. Right to Ali for some reason. Ball stays with Holly with 3.2. Yeah, he must have seen right there. Yeah, right to That's one of those mental lapses. He gave it right to Ali for that one. Wide open. Half time three, no good. Half time. Polly up three, 26 23. The PWG will tell you what they're about, and then we're back with the second half. Pick 
pick and roll. Ace. Good back door by Ace. 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 And a good find there. I believe that was Iron on the pass. Adjustment by Coach Miles, definitely. Definitely quick 6 one by St. Francis to start the second half. Lindsay again. Trying to get him going. Not often seeing this twice in a row. The wide open range is not from the Ireland again. Shooting two. St. Francis has come out aggressive in the second half. Great adjustments, like you said, by Nick Miles. Clearly, so let's see what Miles can do to keep this up to come back in this game. Only down three, but right now, yeah, that's how his turn. <laughs> Getting those free throws, you're gonna need those in this game. We're coming against the other dice network, call the six in St. John's. You get from one blockbuster to another one. In the Baltimore area to the DC area. Yes, and then Monday, Theodore Roosevelt. One loss on the season. Going up against Thurgood Marshall Academy down in DC. Theodore Roosevelt, another one of those schools that's usually tough down in the DC area. Usually make it to the States as well. We're gonna see what they do this year. They have been rolling this year so far. Beating Wilson, the big game. Then uh, next week on the high school basketball showcase again, Pile in City. That's a travel. Yeah. 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 doing a lot of thinking on the offense in there instead of just running their offense. Something they didn't do when they was up Chester last week and now Myrtle Beach. We're seeing Polly running through teams, but we did not expect that today, clearly, in this rivalry match. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. 32-26 game. Oh. You said earlier, you can't count the Panthers out. Not at all. Jordan Toles is not here, but these guys still want to play. They are ready. Lewis! Shooting two. About to do a reverse dunk on him. Nice little baseline move, foul call. Oh, 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 oh. Some of the guys are going to come out and run their van. Such tallness. Can't think of my man that's going to Townsend now. Uh, Mims. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dre Perry or Tampa. Great athletes come to the Pilot Building over the last four or five years. Sam Brand has done a great job building that program into a powerhouse, not only in the state, but now an official national powerhouse. And it is not often that you say that about a public school, and it's not often that you say that about a school from Baltimore either. And he's both. No question about it. It's definitely all true. Second shot from Lewis. This time batted back in the air, but we no! Why again oh, with them hands? Like I said, the quick hands. Good move. Pass 
again. Lindsay this time. Side the floater. No good there. It's English. Looking for a finish. Oh, a little strong. We got much more rust right there. Uh, Murray 
he wanted that one right there, but Lindsey missed him. And now he gets oh to the post, but the defense collapses. And uh, Lindsey uh, missed him that first time. Murray wanted it the first time he posted up, he was ready. And again, hit a little back and forth between Murray and Ace. Stay engaged. And they're going to do that all the time with him on the floor. Come out for three. Got it. Knockdown for St. Francis. Back up one. Five seconds left in the third quarter. Four. Three. Ali. No good. And a three. 39-38. For fourth quarter. This Baltimore ball. I came on the boys' side. I'll be back. Quarter here on the way. Adjustments you make on both sides. The ace here. Whoa, whoa. For three. Got it. And you know that's what he's been waiting for. Ace does his thing when he leaves his team. He gets everybody involved. Fourth quarter, he's ready to take over. Waiting for this for a long time. 32-38. Oh, the back door. Woo! Hey, good foul. Well, it was definitely another poster on the way. Uh, I used to get that poster in your cereal back in the day. That would have been one on the back of the box. And you don't want to be the guy getting dunked, though. First shot in there. What a game. This one has turned out to be. Second shot makes us a two-point game. And uh, here comes the ace. Back to West. Oh wow. NBA like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I would say yes, it's a, it's a foul on our lead, but what I love the most, that was an NBA like move right there by Ace. That was a veteran move. Reese. Ah, back to Reese. Inside the West. Mr. High off the glass. Relentless on the boards. 44 40. And the stars in the fourth quarter gotta be stars here tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. Wow. Nobody saw Lindsay. Could have had another open look at the three. Could have. What? Excuse me, no. Ace going away from behind. Yes, he did. Ace being destructive again. Now he got Lindsay on him. Stanton. So he's going to try to take uh, Lewis on. Let's got it back. Get up to the ace. Ace against Lindsay. Oh. Oh. Lamar for three. This is high. Oh. That was a, felt like a car wreck right there on my bunk right there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a move right there from Justin Lewis. A little box out in the bunk. It should be probably ball. Yes, sir. 603 left. I love the IQ of the players on both sides. These guys are very smart. They know what to do on the court. Yeah, I mean, this is one. Um, you don't. You almost don't want the end. <laughs> I definitely don't. Hopefully, we get overtime like we did in the girls' game. Woo. Happy. Five. That's a three. Check the mess. Lewis. Oh, my God. With the offensive rebound. Missed it. Murray. No good. Jump ball is called. Stay with Polly, I think. And they will. A couple of 
close up his hoons right there for Carl, he just could not finish.
what Brandon Murray was waiting for. He already had the box out, grabbed the rebound. He did not do it, and it came back to bite him. Very shocking. Three minutes left.
Now you would draw this up for uh, the St. Francis here. Well, St. Francis would take the ball. I mean, Ace is setting up on the shot clock. Definitely getting the hands of my guy Ace and just let him make a decision with it. West. Ali is not letting the Ace get it. There it is. He got it in his hands.
the game action. 24 seconds left. Oh, fans have started to foul out here, but the game is not over. I would not leave, people. English. Lindsay. Back to English for three. No good. Tap back. Lindsay. Festival here in the third quarter for St. Francis. Mitchell was looking for a duck instead. Here comes West. All the way to the basket. Turned it over. Ace. Uh oh, baby. Yes, sir. Air toes ready for takeoff.
This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?